doing uh, some tournament stuff. So I'm going to be joining a tournament. I have like a bunch of... Let me just make sure my audio is good, by the way. Is good. I hope everything's running. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I have a bunch of uh, token tickets and stuff. Tokens, tickets, whatever you want to say. Um, two joints of tournaments, so I thought it'd be cool. I really want to keep messing around with the deck uploaded the other day, which I, I really, really enjoy. It's this Pidgeo, uh, Pidgeotto deck. Such a good deck. I really, really, really like it. Absol, hello, Faran Ishrak. Hi. Um, was you in? Did you enter that giveaway? I believe you did. Um, Michael Brando. Uh, for those of you that are here that I don't know, of course I have my Discord server. I did just do a giveaway on that. Um, it has been drawn, I'm afraid. But if you want to, you know, join in some future small giveaways, not some big ones, but some small giveaways, then of course you can do that. Audio is good. Thank you. Thank you. It's it's this bad boy here. It's a really, really, really good microphone. It can actually be better. Um, I don't have an amplifier um, for this microphone. I have to turn it up with my uh, mixer. That's what I have to turn it up with, which makes the audio a bit weaker. But if I get an amplifier, it'll sound even better. Um, right. Right, right, right. Let's, let's go. Let's go. Uh, let me get the chat popping out. Hello, Tyler. Gorgeous. Hey, right back at you. <laughs> uh, first time catching a natural. Wow. Cool, man. Thank you. Thank you for coming along. Thank you. Uh, I'm just going to pop out this chat so I can get the game up and still see what you guys are saying. So, um, Oh, you missed it. Oh, that's a shame. Well, there, there is the one on Monday, obviously. So hopefully, if you've entered that, you can win that one, maybe. Um, that one's a much bigger giveaway, obviously. Um, so that was cool. The, the reason I did this giveaway is I actually had Maro, who's the admin on the Discord server, who's an old friend of mine. Um, well, current friend of mine, obviously. Um, he got some codes for his... Uh, actually, I wanted to edit this deck. He got some codes uh, for his... Uh, I believe his nephew, he said, or his nephews. Um, and... Sorry, some cards. Yeah, cards? Yeah. For his nephew, some boxes. And he had codes left over and was like, yeah, you know, why not use it for a giveaway? So, you know, special thanks to him. Um, right, let's mess with this deck a little bit. I want to put in counter catchers because this deck draws a fat hand so much. It draws a really, really, really big hand. Um, so I really want to utilize that. This Hooper has been really not that useful. It really hasn't been. So I'm cutting it out. Um, counter catches. Now the Pokey has worked so well in this deck. It really makes it turn. Um, maybe go to one U-turn board. One Brock's Grit. Um, maybe one Shine of Punishment. And go to Labs. Throw in a Labs. Because that seems to be pretty important in this deck. Um... Yeah, I've cut a Brock because I need four. So let's do the counter catcher. Is it counter or is it custom? Sorry, I'm getting confused. Custom catcher. There we go. Let's do that uh, just so we have some some pulls. Because what I've noticed when we play this deck, especially in tournaments, when we come up against some really good decks, they do like to retreat a lot. Because obviously we, it, we're not in the realm of one-shotting in this deck. So it's more of a trade-off type deal. Um, right, let's do it. But I'm a bit scared of cutting Shrine down to one. It's really weak, but... We have Lusamine, so we can recover it if we need it. Um, so that's 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 my thought process, at least. One Pokecom could be cut. You're right. The Elm does get pretty much everything in the deck, now that I think about it. So I might do that, actually. I might do that, to be fair. Um, I want to make sure the audio for the actual game is pretty decent. So let me just check that one quickly. I think it is. It looks like it is. Maybe turn it up a bit more. There we go. A bit more. But you're right. One Pokemon could do it. Let's see what Rapper Kicks. Oh, we got the, the Casting Catchers right there. Um, would it? Would I replace it with Grace, Great Catcher? Probably. Probably. Because we're pretty good at dealing with non-GX decks. Um, it's the GX decks that we want to pull up and stuff. So, you know, that's that's my thought process at least. So. Um, did I even join a tournament? I don't think I did. I'm saying tournaments and stuff. I didn't even join a bloody tournament. <laughs> Oh, Sean, what's your problem? What am I doing? I think I don't think I did. The issue with tournaments, right? And I'm sure some of you guys do or don't play it. But with me, it's, it's, it's so long to join a tournament. Um, you have to wait for the people to join in. And then you have to wait for the games to happen. Obviously, that's what it's like in real life. And there are better rewards. Um, but I'm not necessarily in the need for that. Although, although one thing I'll say is the reason why I want to do some tournaments now is to save up for Cosmic, Cosmic Eclipse with just in-game coins and stuff like that. Trades and all that stuff. Um, I'm just going to help. Obviously, the sponsor, PTCGO Store, will help out as well with that. So that's going to be great. Another reason why I did get a sponsor was to help out with uh, content 
uh, as it does come out. Bad plays, even in creating videos, you are the king. <laughs> the misplay king, that's, that's where the term comes from. The misplay king, that's me. <laughs> the king of misplays. Uh, you'll probably see some juicy misplays today, that's what I'm saying. That is all I am saying. Let's see. Oh, maybe we could have put this in the deck. I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully we can pull a uh, an elm off this. See, elm is just so good in this deck. It just gets everything. You get three Pidgeotos out and two, with two elms. You're good. You're good. You're fine. You are rolling. Um, the, I don't know if this... This is a Tina Tags deck, so the labs is actually going to come in handy here, which is why I put it in there. Let's get stuff out of the deck first. Um... Let's at least guarantee ourselves a Pidgey. We only have two Pit. You're joking. All right. Please give me an Elm. Oh, we got it. There we go. We got it. I just went to an IRL tournament. There were only six people and I got four. <laughs> oh, unlucky, unlucky. Only six people in an IRL tournament. Isn't that quite low, isn't it? Uh, let's get a Ninkada out. Will they have an attack next turn? Maybe, but we're going to risk it. We're going to risk it for a Biscuit. Um, although we could force the Inkay out, which is maybe a waste of custom catches, really. Ah, uh, let's hold it. Let's hold it. I don't want to waste it just yet. But if we get those Pidgeotos out, we are rolling. We are rolling good. Right, so obviously they can bring out the Giratina. Um, they can't charge it up, which is good. Any plans to check out the Pokemon Center? Yes. Yes, I do have some plans to check it out. One of my friends who uh, is a big fan of Pokemon. Not so much of the card game, but they're a fan of the Pokemon franchise as a whole. So the card game, the, the video game, the anime series, um, they're going. So I might tag along with them. I might tag along and uh, see what it's like. Um, kills the engine, but not necessary yet. What's that, buddy? Um, do you ever play in IRL tournaments? No, but I wish I would. I've been to a tournament that only four people showed up to. It can be pretty bleak. <laughs> yeah. Shane, we need to go to one, buddy. We need to go to one. Um, I'm just so terrible at like looking into it, or organizing. I'm terrible at organizing. You can probably tell by my upload schedule. <laughs> I'm very bad at organizing, so it's not something that I'm really. It's not my forte, let's say. So it's the one with YouTube channel. <laughs> um, I really want the gentleman Pikachu for my son. Oh yeah, that's cool. That's really cool. Oh, grabbing the Malamar. I see what you're saying. It's a shame it's exclusive, I know. I want to get... Yeah, I'm going to check it out and see what I can get, but... I'll have to wait and see, to be honest. Oof, they just sniped my ditto. All right. Should have saw that coming. Oh, well. Um, we can actually recover the elm for some reason. We don't need to do that. Um, let's throw the Giratina into the act here. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, we want to not not that we want to take it out, but they can't charge it up. So I don't I don't think we're getting a KO this turn. So not unless we get some miracle work. Um, oh, I don't want to get rid of the buzz wall, but I'm gonna have to here because I really want to make sure our consistency stays strong here. Now we are hitting a hundred damage on this, so let's do that building up spite let's go for the air mail see what we pull another maybe the energy no pokey gear all right let's do that join into here sweet 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 and let's go in I hit it for 100 damage oh weakness i didn't notice that oh well, if they KO us, they don't take the prize, so it's fine. And if they take another prize, then that's a buzz wall turn, so that's cool. Um, hello, Adam. How you doing? Pokemon TV. Welcome, welcome, welcome. And Glace. I hope you are all well. I hope everyone is good. Um, I'll start the organizing. I'll check out the cup schedule. See, there's one near you. Um, it will happen at some point or other. Still loving this deck then. Um, yeah, man, I'm really loving this deck. It's really, really fun. It's really fun. Um, it's not doing the best right now, unfortunately. But... Um, have you been to a pre-release today? No, no, unfortunately. Uh, I think the closest one to me is in central London, which is a bit of a journey. Um, hey, to all anyone know how to deal with the Misty's favor for Slowpoke Magikarp? Oh, I don't know. Um, yep, yeah, I forgot weakness. I did. You're all telling me. See, 
Who said I was the king of misplays earlier? Did I not say that? Did I not say that? <laughs> uh, do they have enough energy to charge that thing up? No, they don't. But they do have enough to knock out because of this, unfortunately. So it looks like our deck's just disappearing. Uh, see you later, Absol. Thank you for coming along, though. Thank you for coming along. Oh, they're just going to go... Wait. Oh, they played a single counter catcher. Okay. Um, what are you talking about? Hey, does anyone know how to deal with the Misty's... Misty's favorite slope at Magikarp? The what? What is that? I, I'm assuming you're talking about the deck. Right? Yeah, I don't know, honestly. I think... I think how did I beat it? I don't know. I don't know how to deal with that deck, actually, to be honest with you. I don't think there's any direct counter to it. Um, we're screwed. Dust Trev. Uh, I've seen this Dust Trev going around. Um, right. For a split second here, let's... Uh, there's so much spread damage because of this Sableye. It's causing problems. Um, I think this is a bust here. This is a bust. Yeah, we're gonna go. That's a, that's a bust. I think we're gonna go to a tournament. I wasn't even meant to to do that. <laughs> Not even in a tournament yet. Um, yeah, I know. I know the deck you're on about. I haven't played it enough. I haven't played it myself, and I haven't played against it enough to know what exactly can work well against it. To be honest with you, um, for me, it's quite a rare deck to come up against on the ladder. To be honest with you, it really is. Right, so this is a deck. There we go. Let's join in. Yeah, for me, it's it's quite yeah, quite a rare deck for me to come up against. But I've yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about it. I have heard a lot of good things. Um, the only time I did come up against it was it in a video? I'm not sure. I think it was in a video. But usually when I'm when I come up against it, I'm usually playing like an anti tag team deck anyway, so it usually deals with it pretty well. How do you feel about the new no first turn supporter rule for the player going first? I don't know actually. Um, I, I've taken some time to think about it, but how would I say it? You're going to get a lot more people wanting to go um, second, but then at the same time, we're in a format where there's a lot of item cards that give you draw, so people can do that. But I don't know, supporter plays such a huge role for having a good first turn um, and setting up. So, a lot of people would, might want to go second. I don't know. I don't know. It's a, it's a weird one. I don't know how it's going to balance out the game. I don't think it gives any crazy unfair advantage. Because everyone always goes first in the current format, right? Because you get the setup. And most times in a deck, you're going to get the first big attack, right? Um, in most decks. But... I don't know. If you're looking at decks like Reshirad that can have a first, uh, like a turn one, 200 damage attack, sometimes you do, they do go second. So if you get to go second and actually have the first supporter of the turn, then that's that's rough. So I don't know. I don't know how it's going to work out. I think the format plays a big role in that. Um, Trevnar sounds better. Dust Trev, Trevnar. Uh, but I generally couldn't remember if it was called Dusko or Dustno. <laughs> uh. That's funny. Hey, Ian, how you doing? How are you? I hope you're well. I hope you're doing well, man. I hope you're enjoying your weekend. All right. Don't know what to say about this hand. Don't know what to say. The name's Moa Trevnor. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't know what to say about this hand. This is this is a, an absolutely horrendous hand. Okie dokie. We're going to do that. We're going to go for that. We're going to Pokecom. And get a... I'm actually going to get another Spiritomb here. I know that's not really the setup play, but... At least we can follow up, right? If we start dead drawing and stuff. The Power Plant... Do I play that now? I don't know. Hi there, just passing by and seeing your streaming. Oh, thank you for coming along. Thank you for coming along. Also, is there a way to pronounce your name in English at all? Because I, I'm, forgive me, I don't know how um, to read that. Um, hello, Dan. How you doing, man? How are you? I hope everyone's having a good weekend. Usually, I would actually be out tonight um, with a couple of my friends. Um, that's why usually I don't stream on Saturdays, because usually I'm out 
But tonight I was like, you know what? I don't feel like it. I really just want to chill in, relax, and just have a good time. So sometimes it's good to just chill out all by yourself. Um, building spotting energy has just given him the KO chance. Has it? Oh, you're right. You're right. It just did. You see? That's a Reshirad power plant. Well, we did just see it was a thingy-mabob. What do you call it? A Charizard deck. Baby Charizard. I'm looking forward to Nag Lord. Got a Rainbow Rare from pre-release and traded for regular art. My brief testing. Two to three Nag Lords and... Ooh, maybe... Well, they didn't go for the KO. <laughs> Luckily, Shane. <laughs> Thanks to uh, my luck of the draw on the ladder. That's actually pretty decent. <laughs> and we're going to get the KO on it as well. <laughs> They're going to easily take me out there. Jesus. Wow. Okay. Cool. Not complaining. Uh, I'm going to get this giant, this power plant out just to get rid of the hearth. The half. Sorry. Sweet. That was not meant to happen. When is Cosmic Eclipse coming? I believe the pre-release is this weekend. So isn't it, would it be, it's usually the first Friday of any month, isn't it? So I believe it's the first of November, right? Uh, if, yeah, first of the 11th. Yeah, see, Glacier's already gonna set it. <laughs> I'm even reading it. Um, I thought at first and saw Baby Zard. So it might be a little bit easier, yeah. Have you considered playing Jinx to build Spite faster? Because you know you can move damage counters. Yes. Yes, I have. But this deck is very tight on bench space. Obviously, you can't see that now. <laughs> but generally speaking. What's going on down here? Um, come on, give me something. What? You're joking. Uh... That's game. We have been... I have not dead drawn with this deck ever since... Jesus Christ, that was awful. What? Is this just bad luck? I don't know. Okie dokie. Um, what on earth is going on here? What on earth is going on here? Maybe... Mm, I don't know. I'm not sure what's happening here. Maybe go down to two hustle belt. Huh. I never really get that. We have four elms. Odds of getting a turn one elm are quite high. I got absolutely destroyed, man. <laughs> yeah, the burn damage. That was it. That's what done it. Um, but I'm not sure what's the problem now all of a sudden. Now that we've made those slight changes. I want to add something like a judge whistle or something, but I'm not sure. Let's go to free Pidgeotto, but that's not great. That's going to severely drop its consistency. I could drop the buzz wall. No. Unless we add one more draw supporter just for the sake of it. Like an error core or something. Or... Mm. Why not just... You know, it would be cheeky. We're throwing a blues tactic. Why not? Why not? Why not? Uh, bad hand as well. I can just tear into you. <laughs> yeah, bad hands can definitely do that stuff, man. I think I need to pay a bit more attention, but I've up the consistency a little bit. Why Lucimine in two blocks? Uh, so Lucimine is to recover the supporters, uh, sorry, to recover the um, stadiums because we're playing one of only a certain amount of stadiums. So in certain matchups, we're going to be able to need the Lucimine. And in this deck, if it sets up the way you intend it to, so if you have three Pidgeotos, a lot of the time, um, the yeah, Acrobite gives better than Judge Ritual, but I'm so scared of discarding stuff without recovery. Um, what was I saying? What was I saying? What was I saying? Right. So when you've got a ton of Pidgeotos out, you naturally build a big hand in that deck. So um, playing cards like Lusamine and Brox is actually pretty decent. I had the two Brox in there to recover the both the um, Shedinjas, the Ninkadas, and also recover spirit tomb. So because there's a lot of recovery needed, and because we're having a we're actually going for a long game 
where we have a, they have to take a lot of KOs to actually get going and actually take prizes. Um, we want to keep that going as much as possible. So we want to be able to reuse our Shedinjas um, and our Spirit Tombs uh, as much as possible, really. So that's why we play two Brocks. Um, that was pretty much the, the, the combo idea of the deck. Um, what else? Whistle is fun, though. Also, draw energy is coming out with Cosmic. Draw energy? What is that? Oh, is that when you attach, you draw a card, right? I believe I saw that. Um, playing both. It's usually when you're going turbo, you play, you play both. Oh, okay. Funky. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely agree. I would say that Acro Bike is better than Judge's Whistle any day. You're seeing two cards. You have a better option. Um, I just always get so nervous about discarding a valuable card. So with the lack of recovery there is nowadays, it's a bit scary. Um, although I am playing two Brocks, so that's that. Um, all right, let's do... This is what we want. Our attackers are basic, so it doesn't matter. We can just place them down and get ready to go. All right, set up play. Here it is. Now, the issue is we don't really have any follow-up, which is a shame. Um, regardless, let's just get a Spirit Tomb out. We want to get an attacker out, at least. Oh, no, do we get the Pidgeotto? I'm going to go for the Pidgeotto for next turn. I was initially going to get Spirit Tomb, but consistency is the way through. Uh, I'll throw a Judge or two in there in that case. If you've got the, cons uh, the constant draw... You may as well utilize the judge whistles by disrupting their hand. Maybe, yeah, we could do that. Uh, judge, yeah, Marshadow is it's not banned, it's expanded, yeah. So it's rotated out, unfortunately. Uh, my fear of playing judge, though, is having that turn one and you dead drawing from the start of the game. Like, that's a problem for me. Um, I've got Pidgeotto, don't worry. I've got it, I've got it. Uh, we're getting Alanis Fisher Water, which should help Pokey's, uh, like, Spirit Tomb. Oh, what's that? Is that recovery? Um... Judge Wisher and Acrobike 52 card deck, basically. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Technically speaking, yes. That's what I like got Pidgeotto. It's basically Acrobike without the discard, obviously. So you're you're simmering for a lot of your deck really quickly. If you set it up right. And the reason why I play four elms is because Pidgeotto is also 60 HP. So you can get three Pidgeys and three Pidgeotos out in two turns. Um and just set up like crazy. Ah, oh, Hustle Belt, okay. Cool, cool. your and your bench frontal damage done to it. Okay. Ah, there's the elms. Sweet. So we can just play that comfortably. Get two Pidgeotos and a Spiritomb out. Could have got an Incarder actually. That might have been better. But you know what? Maybe we can draw into them. Sweet. And what I like about this deck is I've actually done it in the video that I posted for this deck. Um, you can actually reuse your. Um, Boswell turn, which I think is awesome. <clears throat> oh, uh, Elms for those Shedinjas. There we go. And another Spirit Tomb. I'll take it. Let's do that. So you see what I mean, right? The draw is still pretty good without playing draw supports. Uh, do I need to accelerate that with Rainbow Energy? Probably. There we go. Let's get that in there. Um, <clears throat> it's it's an item. What? Pretty sure it got banned here also recently. What format do you play in uh, Black the Ripper? Although also if that card spell tags are OP enough as it is. As it is. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Spell tags are just stupid. So is it is it a tool recovery card? Is that what it is? Shuffle a Pokemon and tool card back into your deck from your discard. Okay, yeah. Wait. Yeah, is it just is it just Pokemon at all? Is it Pokemon tool and item? I, I'd say stupid if that be if an item that's just mad. Yeah, eight spell tags, three twenty. That's just stupid. That's just crazy. Tina tags would love that. Would absolutely love that. As it's not powerful enough, right? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Tina Tags is just stupid now. Pretty much the best non-GX deck there is right now. But that's just because Malamar. That's the only reason, really. Um, all right. Well, they didn't get the KO here. So we can just come in and shit our way to a victory, which is nice. 
<laughs> well, I say to a victory, but you know what I mean. Um, might as well get the last... No, get another Ninkada out. Why not? Since we're going to be opening some bench spots here. That's nice. All right. <clears throat> So I can use this Shedinja on this Spiritomb, bench another Spiritomb, use that Shedinja on that Spiritomb. And now they're going to have to take two KOs on me before they even take a prize card. Love it. Loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving it like this. Hello, Mina. How are you? How are you? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Let's drop that on there. And then we bench another Ninkada. Sweet. I think I'm winning. <laughs> I think I'm winning. Uh, let's get the Buzzwell so we can have some control uh, on when we want to release that and start using it for its Sledgehammer attack. Although, do we really want to play Buzzwell? I don't know. Lusamine, sure. Not really needed, but okay. I'll take it. Uh, do I need to Anguish Cry here? I don't think so. I think I'm hitting enough damage anyway, so let's... Oh, wait. Anguish Cry. I mean, Building Spy. Maybe I shouldn't have done that before. Um, right, what's everyone saying? I need to catch up. Sorry. Du -du 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 Looking on the tool. Now, is Mali getting stronger with CEC? What is that? Uh, Dark Box, Super Scoop Up. A little underrated or am I tripping? Oh, hello, Eric. Uh, Dark Box is pretty cool. Um, and Super Scoop Up's also pretty neat in it. I mean, I've had some big troubles coming up against that stuff, man. Dark Box has been one of the hardest decks for me to beat when I play, but... Uh, if it lets you shuffle a Pokemon and Tool card back into your deck, does that mean you can shuffle back two Shedinjas? They're technically a Pokemon and Tool. <laughs> beat the system! Yeah! Um, yeah, yeah. He's, I think he was joking. <laughs> um, but it wouldn't work. That'd be cool, though. That'd be sick. That'd be sick. Um, of course, it does work. All my decks work. <laughs> I don't know about that one. Sometimes it, you should have just seen earlier, mate. Not didn't happen before, unfortunately. Oh, Cosmic Eclipse. See, do you know how out of the loop I've been recently? This is just terrible. You guys are like just picking me up from the bottom. Just like, come on, up you come. There we go. Come on. Like trying to drag me along with you lot. <laughs> you should play Hitmon's Dead Maniac. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll get one up soon, buddy. I will. I will. Mimikyu and Psy. Um, seems super strong for Mali. But Baby Gods, Baby Gods exists now. Um, ADP seems it's going to be a BDIF. Hello, Mr. Lopez. How are you doing? How are you? Welcome to the stream. You should try Rapidash Victini. Uh, if, you're, if you're talking about the Victini that does a coin flip, I believe that rotated. Am I right? I think that card is gone. Into the extended format. Extended? Expanded is what I meant to say. Apologies. <laughs> I can talk English. That'd be pretty good. What? Uh, are they going to come in with a KO? I don't know what deck Rapid Kings did, to be honest. Yeah, the Victini rotated. Uh, it's in the expanded format now, so we're playing uh, um, Psychic Placephalon. Oh. What's that going about? So did Lorantis. Uh, as did Lorantis, yes. Cyblase, ah, Psychic Placephalon. See? There we go. Oh, that's Psychic Placephalon, I believe. Is it what? Put three damage counters, but 12? If you ha if they have like three prize cards or something? Am I correct? Or am I wrong? I don't know. Um, right, let's just start drawing. I'm going to keep drawing here. Uh, let's get the counter catcher. See, this is what I'm talking about. If we could pick some counter catchers out here, that'd be dope. Do we? Do we? Do we? We do. Nice. So now we can kind of just pick and choose here. Let's get the Malamar. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, it's rotated out, man. It's rotated. It's rotated. Um, yeah, let's take one of the Malamars out for now while we're here. Let's accelerate this spite. Um, and we're just going to hold, pretty much. Yeah, we don't need to build spite again. Um, have you tried Slow Duck? No, I have not, unfortunately. But... It's not really a deck that's excited me, to be honest with you. However, I, I do know it's pretty good. Banished in the Expanded Realm. <laughs> oh, ADP, Arceus. Yeah, is, is that what people are going to call it? Are people going to call it ADP? Because I was wondering about that card. I was like, what are people actually going to call this? Um, because going Arceus, Dialga, Palkia, GX just seems a bit too much. I think some people call it Space Dogs or something. But ADP sounds cool. 
Yeah, I mean, that card's going to be crazy, though. It's, it's got a built-in choice band, basically, which is cool. <laughs> That's just awesome. Accelerates energy. You have ends resolve. Is it end resolve to, to build that card up? <sighs> yeah, God mode, man. PGO is just fire. It's the new Zorak. Like, come on. It's the new Zorak. It's what it is. <laughs> uh, obviously not. It's not as good as that, but hey. You're still technically seeing two cards, except you just pick one of them. Um, damage scaling isn't enough to compete. Uh huh. Creation trio. Yeah, there's so many, so many nicknames. There needs to be one. Someone needs to stick to something and pick it and stick it. Because otherwise, you're going to get a, just mad confusion in the community. <laughs> People are like, what is going on? Um, we can try and go for another counter catcher, but it doesn't seem really necessary. I mean, this looks kind of crazy. Um, I want to go for a Hustle Belt one here. I don't mind if they take a prize on a KO. We have the Buzzwall here sitting around. So let's build the spike here. And let's, let's keep keep building up these... Uh... Alright, cool. These... Uh... This hand, sorry, should I say. And again, the Lucy means sitting here. So if they counter that shrine, we're good. Oh, that's kind of a dead card now. Our hand's just too big. Um... <laughs> you get naked with the viewers. Oh my god, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Oh, we could power plant though. Shut up the moving ability. I don't know. Nah. I'm just talking out, talking out me. Uh, I'm not going to finish that sentence. <laughs> All right, Anguish Cry. Here we go. Um, do you play games with viewers? I do, I do, I do. <laughs> oh, Shane, I swear to God, man. Um, ADP ma uh, making it so you take one extra prize for knockout. It's kind of disgusting. Yeah. So it's like one extra prize plus 30 damage, right? Stupid. That's, uh, that's one of the best GX attacks in the game, hands down. Hands down. It just basically means you need to knock out two to Dene GX, if I'm correct, and you've got a game. Mad. Absolutely mad. And with things like Great Catcher coming in, yeah, and, and the fact that you're going to be doing 30 more damage and hitting... Oh, I hit my mic. And hitting 180 raw. Two to Dene's, done. You're going to win so many games like that with ADP, so... Yeah. Is it me or a Pokemon trying to force the non-GX out? Don't get me started, Shane. Don't get me going. Don't get me going. I am really disappointed in the fact that they're making it so GX heavy. I don't know if it's to increase the sale on stuff, or I, I don't know. I, I'm, I, I don't know. I'm not sure why. But I hope that's not the plan. Because I'm not a fan of it, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, let's get our last Spiritomb from the deck. There we go. And again, we're not going to go for the Shedinja yet. What we're going to do... This is what I like. We have so much control. We're going to work to... We're going to let them KO us and stuff and do whatever if they can. Bring us to four prizes. Come in with the Buzzwall. Then Shedinja. And then hopefully recover the Buzzwall. Get it back out. Then Shedinja. And just reuse the Sledgehammer as much as we can. Fully utilize it. That's, 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 that's where my head is at right now, basically. Um, with that kind of play. Now, again, we can try and pull some custom catches and stuff. But let's just let's just keep rolling here. Uh, Pidgeotto, I guess. I really want to count this. But I, I might, I'm thinking I'm gonna. Do I recover the shrine yet? I don't think so. I might just go for the power plant here. All right, another custom catcher, ready to go. Sweet. So I'm pretty sure you can see why I'm comfortable playing cards like Brock and Lusamine, because we don't really need draw supporters. <laughs> once you once you set it up, you really don't need it. Uh, let's just power plant to counter that for now and go for just yeah an anguish cry here for knockout um temisk hey -o, have you played around with stack attacker before i have a bit i have a little bit i want to mess around with it but i think it's quite tough to really make consistent in the early game to be honest with you i don't think it's its own card that can do its own deck really um pokemon is a serious power green <laughs> Hey, Captain Flamian. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing well. Only hit and run decks can survive and maybe Baby Blaze. Um, yeah, I'd say that. Obviously, Malamar. Uh, Tina Tags. Uh, the non-GX variant. Um, I'll always love the game, but this meta is so stale. I mean, the rotation is... I think there's a rotation coming as well. I don't know how that's going to change things up. But you know, all they need to do... All they need to do is reprint po um, Ultra Ball. That's, that's, the, that's the minimum. That is the minimum they need to do. That's it. If they reprint Ultra Ball, there is, you, ha you open up a lot of possibilities again. Because Ultra Ball can be used in any deck, can get any Pokemon card. Which means you don't have to 
take these weird alternative routes like using Pokecom or using Netball, which is specifically for grass types or um, using Cherish Ball specifically for GXs to find your Pokemon and set up. Because ultimately, if you set up first, you have a higher odds of winning if you're playing a good deck, right? Unless it's a bad matchup. But if it's a fair matchup, if you set up first, odds are you're going to be winning, right? I'm not obviously, obviously, it's not the only thing you can obviously play yourself out of it. And you'll see the better the player, the more likely they're going to win as well. But if it was, everything was even, if you set up first, odds are you're going to win. So by giving such a disadvantage to so many types of decks, especially non-GX decks, that's why there's not really much going on in that area, really. Um, I'll go more into it in a second, but I want to play this turn here and not just uh, uh, lose out on anything that I could take advantage of it. Okay, let's get the Buzz Warm in hand. But I'll, I'll go more into it in a second um, before anything else. But I just want to finish this turn here. But you see what I mean? I don't, I don't need a draw support. <laughs> I'm seeing six cards every turn. Um, obviously, I, I draw three. But I'm seeing six. Right, so that's cool. Let's go and get the other Ning Shedinja out, ready for the buzz wall when it comes. If it comes, we might win before that even happens. But hey, thinking ahead is cool. And if I want, I can recover these Shedinjas, but I'm not gonna now. Don't need to yet. Uh, I could also, I don't know. Maybe we'll wait. If we get to that turn, we'll get to that turn. I don't need to building spite right now. Okay. Um, yes, mysterious treasure as well. So there's a lot. Of support for certain types so there's obviously the fire there's the lightning there's the psychic and grass but grass doesn't really pop off as much obviously because fire is too good so you're not going to see a lot of grass decks rising out so that's why the best decks are fire lightning and um fire obviously fire doesn't have any specific search but welder is crazy there's so much draw in fire it's mad so it's easier to set up anyway so that's why it's the best decks. It seems like the format is favoring types, which is not good. Every type should have a competitively viable deck. That's the best format, right? Where there's so much variety. Because that means you're going to have more variety in the game. Um, a lot more options, which is what people like, right? It makes the game more fun. Less stale, basically. Right, so we've won that one. I believe that is a tournament game. No, it wasn't. I'm stupid. I'm not playing tournament games. Well, we got the deck working again. Right, a lot of you said a lot of things. So I'm going to join a tournament and hopefully we have some time to catch up on this. Oh, maybe not. Five people have rejoined. <laughs> Yikes. Uh, after this tournament, we're going to go for a different deck, I think. Okay. I do have to scroll up a little bit here. EXs are only viable for the ability to attack. Abilities or attacks on the grave. Um, I think I heard it was because people complaining, about, complaining that finishing a free round match in a 45 minute time limit was too difficult. So they geniusly made cards like tag teams to end the games quicker. Okay. Um, but that, that, that should be more of a rule change, if anything, rather than a change to the format. Um, unfortunately, with Darkbox and Welder, they just... Uh, they're just ridiculous is what I assume you're saying. Uh, magic has worked out power creeping multiple times. Pokemon has been getting worse and worse over the past year. I mean, Ultra Ball is important. I'm just over tag teams. I mean, they, they do need to introduce something new all the time. That's why they're coming with these V cards, right? They have to. They always have to introduce a new gimmick every now and then. Although tag team wasn't necessarily something that was needed um, as a new gimmick because... They usually introduce a new gimmick when there's a brand new like um, set series. So when there's a new generation, that's when they usually introduce a new gimmick. But, you know, they've messed around with gimmicks so far, which I like. They've, they've added Prism Stars. Um, I think they've stopped that now. Obviously, now they've added Tag Teams. You know, they're messing around with stuff, and I like that. But if you're introducing a gimmick to the game that is specifically introduced to deal with a problem that is only going to create more problems, then it's not great. But I get it. I get what they're doing. Uh, I just wasted my money on this game. Uh, got the old set. The new set is coming. <laughs> Use your code there. Well, thank you. Thank you, Vina. Um, I appreciate using the code. But that's fine. I mean, there's a lot of cards in this set that are, that are good. So don't worry. You're not you're not losing out. You're not losing out, Mina. Um, yeah, you're right. Cards like Stack Attack and Need of a supporting Pokemon such as Miss Magius. Otherwise, the deck won't work. Yeah, and see, the problem with Miss Magius is Miss Magius relies on greens to really have a strong setup. And you need greens to kind of get the... Uh, things going, but Stack Attack has stopped you from using greens. So there's, there's a problem there when it comes to pure consistency. But it's not the only way to use this Magius. 
Uh, so many people just want Cherish Ball. Of course, because Cherish Ball is like the staple for GX decks now. Um, I'd love a level ball with a higher HP cap, say 150. See, that would be good. That would be good. That would help rival Cherish Ball a little bit. Um, that's what I'm thinking. Like, um, Sorry, I'm just trying to catch up here. What else would be said? Non-GX that hit a ton is the way to go for me. Or Pokemon to hit 130 and up one energy. Like some baby ultra beast. Yeah, that's usually it. 130 is, the, is, is kind of the bare minimum now. Will you make a Krikatoon when it comes out? I haven't seen a Krikatoon, but if I'll, I'm i assuming because you're requesting it, it's going to be a good one. So I'll look it up. Um, <laughs> yeah, there we go. Glace, Krikatoon is so good. <laughs> okay, all right. I'll give it I'll give it a look. I'll give it a look. And go look. Okay. There's always Quagnag. That's true. But Quagnag's a bit clunky sometimes which is i think it's its biggest problem all right let's see if we can i mean we've got all we need here which is pretty good so that's cool um <laughs> i'll tell my supporter is lucimine what that's terrible that's absolutely terrible <clears throat> let's get the mew into play and hopefully next turn that was a terrible start fire lightning sighting again the best um how improved is hand fitting and gaining is very hard uh, i don't know they've always called it quag and i think that sounds better convinces me Convince me otherwise, bro. <laughs> I just call it Quagnag. Quagnag. It sounds funny, right? Quagnag. <laughs> but I get it. Quagnadal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I don't know why I call it Quagnag. Because it's not actually... Wait, yeah. Yeah, Quagnag is what I call it. Um, Range quit. <laughs> okay, right. Let's just, let's just do some stuff. Let's actually draw into things. That was a pretty decent hand without the supporter card, though. That's the problem. Oh, we could get another Pidgeotto, but I want a Spiritomb. I want to get get things rolling. But I'm glad they can't <laughs> hit the bench thanks to the Mew. Uh, sure. That way, next time we can actually have a Shedinja. That's not going to go down. So that's cool. That's fine by me. Let's do that. Let's build the Spite. Unfortunately, they're going to get a KO on us. I mean, we could custom catch up for a draw here. I think we have to. Ah, box crit. Fine. Sure. Let's just let's just pass up. Um, comparing to other meta, there is a lot of good decks. Do you mean expanded? I think the expanded meta is kind of crazy, man. Uh, in a good way. Expanded is mad. Um, yeah, I wish non-GX were good, but they have a horrible search. Non-GX used to be great, Abbas. They used to be fantastic. They used to be so fun. Uh, I mean, they still are. They're just harder to work. Prism Stars are a great addition to the game. Yep, I think so. Similar to Apex, right? Great additions. Um, prisons unlike tag teams are balanced true I think tag teams have taken the game up just a crazy level where basically this is the way I've seen it if you're not two-shotting you better have something or, or no, if you are two-shotting sorry you better have something really good going for you because even two-shotting now is not that viable which is crazy right because so many decks rely on the two-shotting um concepts right so it's usually two shotting plus a little bit of control and stuff like that that's how zorak worked right zorak was never really a big one shot deck it had the potential to one shot with lycanroc gx but it was never the big one shot deck it never was that um but because it had so much control you know you could go for your standard two shots um but i don't know man if you played zorak in this format now i don't know how it would work i honestly don't have much i wouldn't, I wouldn't think i've had much confidence but then again I might just be talking a bit too negatively now that I think about it. Let's go for this play. Do we go for another spirit tomb on the bench? Yeah, I think we do. Wait, why did I do? I'm so stupid. See, I'm not paying attention. I'm not paying attention, man. Ah. Yikes. All right, let's just get that going. That's fine. Um, we'll go for Angry Cry. Sweet. Expanded is pretty crazy. Expanded is mad. Hello, Hadi. Hope you're doing well. Um, Power Creep isn't that bad in Pokemon due to rotations. Expanded isn't that popular, unlike Magic. Yeah, that, that's what I like about Pokemon. I like that they rotate. They keep the game fresh, um, which I think gives them the opportunity to make bigger and better cards, like 300 HP and stuff like that. Go back a few years. Um, not a few years. Go back well, like 10 years. Then like, The highest HP was like 100 odd HP, and that was that was crazy. So can you imagine trying to play a 100 HP Pokemon that hits 80 damage in this format? Nah. And, and that's an EX that takes, loses two prizes? Nah. That's why it's good that they have rotations. <laughs> uh, in Europe, pretty much Blow-On plays Expanded. I can, I can agree to that. 
I can agree to that. Um, you found the new meta. I found the new meta. <laughs> Uh, I don't know about that one. Um, so should all tag teams be Prism Star? I don't know. I think Prism Star is... It's cool because it's a one prize thing, and it, but it, you only have one in deck, which I think is cool. And it usually has a pretty cool concept or an overpowered concept. I don't think they should... I, don't, I think they're kind of separate in what they do. Um, but they could be. They could be Prism Star, I guess. I mean, standard last season, the best decks were Zoro, Pikarom, and Fighting. Yeah. I think, I think uh, when it comes to the meta, I think having variety is something that's not going to be a common thing right because it always does narrow down to the top few decks that are just so good but i don't know it does seem a bit the, the format does seem a bit repetitive now now that i think about it right let's go for i want to find shrine i do want to find shrine this is the problem with only playing one we could really lend us a hand here let's see what we get let's see what we get Oh, I didn't, I didn't say hello to you. Hi, Ryan. How you doing, man? How you doing? Sorry, I feel kind of mean. I didn't say hello. <laughs> or did I? I don't know. I'm trying to pay attention to loads of things at once here. Um, we could build in spite and attach another rainbow. Sure, let's be greedy. Because that's 100 and that's 130. Right? And if we find a Cynthia, sweet. That's actually the, like, the least played card in this deck <laughs> is, is Cynthia, believe it or not. Um, hopefully we can draw some good stuff. Oh, now we're talking. Okay. There we go. There it is. There is the, the KO on that bad boy. Sweet. Three prizes there. Obviously, they're going to come up with Latios, but... Man, that's some good stuff right there. Some real good stuff. Oh, yeah. Cool, and we have, uh, if we can get Buzzwell next turn, we are rolling. Because if they KO us and we can follow up with a Ninkada on a Buzzwell. Mm. Good stuff, good stuff. Uh, right, what's everyone saying? Dag Dag, oh hello, welcome. Um, Expanded has all the good things like Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, Guzma, DCE, you know, everything that was in every deck up until two months ago. <laughs> That's so true. That's one of the best statements I've seen. It has Ultra Ball, Nest Ball, Guzma, DCE. Everything that was in every deck up until two months ago. <laughs> so they removed so many staples. They're just like, see you later. Not happening. But you know, you can't complain. You just got to go on with it and just uh, play the game as, it's, as it is. Um, you can only look back, but unfortunately the meta shapes the way it does, depending on how they do it. But they need to bring back Ultra Ball minimum. Like minimum. They need to bring back Ultra Ball, at least. Um, and after that, I would say uh, either DCE or Pokemon Recovery for non-GXs. Um, or Pokemon Recovery in general, that is not through Supporter card. Rescue Stretcher was a really important card. I don't think people realized how important that card is. Especially for non-GX decks. Um, because the format has taken a turn where non-GX decks, right, are so easily KO'd, right? Because the base number that people are hitting now is like 150 or something. Right? You think of Picarom, right? Or the Space Dogs that are coming out. Or Reshirad hits mad damage. And you can't really two-shot Reshirad because it's going to outrage you. So KOs on non gex Pokemon are quite easy to achieve. So four turns down the line, you're out of Pokemon without the recovery. So you have to take a turn where you're already behind playing a Brock's Grit as your recovery without having any support. The reason why this deck I'm playing works so well because I can play those cards confidently without sacrificing so much, thanks to Pidgeotto, right? That's that's my thought process, at least in this. We're going to lose this Mew, I'm afraid, which is problems. Uh, this, These tags. So we can find labs. I would be a very happy boy. Give me labs. Give me labs. That's all I want. I just want labs. Give me labs. We don't have it. That's going to be a yikes from me, Chief. I'm telling you. Uh, it's going to be a yikes from me. All right, let's go and at least drop a... I'm going to get the Buzzwell ready. Because I'm assuming this at least one of these Pokemon are going down. Um, am I missing out on something here? Let's go for the Shedinja. Let's do that. Um, <laughs> things change, you can't complain. <laughs> I will complain. I'll back. <laughs> I'll clean the back legs of a donkey. 
<laughs> uh, I'm not saying you can't complain. Uh, if I did say that, I'd take that back. I'm more, I'm more just down the line of you have to adapt, I'm afraid. But obviously you should raise a voice if you think it's something that is, uh, I wouldn't say stupid, but down the line of that word. For the lack of a better term, I'll say that. Okay, that's a KO. Um, unfortunately, they're going to get a KO in response. So I might as well just go all the way there. So they can KO that and then put three more down if they want, but that's not getting any extra KOs. They can take out an Encarta if they want to, but that leaves this open, so that's not a good idea. If we can find another custom catcher and get a buzzwall going, we can start picking at this bad boy. But you've got to bear in mind it's their turn now, so I don't think the buzzwall thing's actually going to happen now that I see it. I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. I have the Mew. Go for it. Go for it. It's not really doing anything for me anyway. <laughs> How do you feel uh, Greninja Break can do with all these tag teams and expanded? I don't know. People have been... I know uh, Little Dark Fury, LDF. I know he's been playing it a lot. And he's saying it's, good, it's doing really well. So, yeah. Try and check out his channel. He did do a video on it recently. Um, he did say that Greninja is it's good. I mean, it completely destroys uh, Mew 3, apparently. Or Mew Mew, whatever you want to call it. There is a coming Pokemon recovery card. Thank the Lord. As long as it's not a supporter. We're getting Nardis Fisher Rod that recycles a Pokemon at all in like two weeks. Yep, there we go. We did, we did just speak about that, didn't we? But is that an item or a supporter? Oh, that's what you was all about. It, yeah, okay, okay. I'm catching up. I'm catching up. Glace was is it Glace talking about it earlier, I believe? Sorry if I've got it wrong. Um, but that's an item card. Okay, so there we go. We're getting some Pokemon recovery. That's good. But we need consistent Pokemon search. And for all the Pokemon, not just for GX, because that's forcing... GX to be better because you're giving them more reliable search, which means more reliable setup, which means people are going to play them um, over the one that's unreliable, at least. Um, they should have made more breaks. I wasn't around during the break era, actually. Um, I was a little bit afterwards. I think when GX were out, breaks were still a thing, right? They were still legal, if I'm correct. Um, right. Do I labs now? I'm scared of losing it. Well, actually, no. I think I'm going to drop a labs into play now. Let's make things a little bit harder for them. All right, here we go. Um, before I elm, let's do this. See what we get going here. Okay, that's good. I want to check my deck so the poke Pokecom's good. Um, I want to see what the deal is here. What's going on with our Shedinja stuff? All right. I think it might be a Brock's Grit turn, to be honest with you. It might very well be a Brock's Grit turn. Do we have... Oh, man, I should have checked the deck again. I want to see if we have another rainbow energy going on here. Oh, yeah, reset stamp. Good stuff. Good time to get it. But to be fair, if we, get, if we leave one more turn and they get another KO, we could seriously, seriously cause some problems. Um, I, I know I'm not getting loose mean, but I want to check my deck. I want to check my deck, see what, see what the deal is here. Uh, do we have another rainbow? We do have another rainbow. Okay, that's something to take note of. Right. We can technically attack this turn. So we are going to attack this turn. Let's do that. All right, we're only going to be hitting very small damage. But we're going to be hitting damage nonetheless. There we go. Let's get another one down. Build that spite up. Good stuff. And the next turn, I think we're going to play Brock's Grit and Reset Stamp. That's what we're doing next turn. All right, there we go. Weak damage, but hey. I just realized Lysander Lab shuts off my whole deck. Well. And they did the reset. Oh, dude, you're going to be like that. That's fine. We got the, we got the Pidgeotos to get us out of this mess. <laughs> uh, why? I should have Lusamined for my Shrine of Punishment. Oh, wait, no. For my Power Plant, sorry. Can you play Terminator and can you play it when Cosmic Eclipse comes out? Maybe. Yeah. Uh, but Great Catcher is coming, which punishes GX. That's true. That's true. That's very true. Basically, all non GX to road decks. <laughs> yeah. It's anti meta, right? Um, so, why do you play Spiritomb all the time? There are other interesting forgotten cards out there. 
Um, well, Spirit Tomb was just something I was looking at recently, to be honest with you. I believe I looked at it. What was the other video I did? And then after that, I was like, hey, I remember Spirit Tomb. Let's try and look into it, see what we can work with it. And then that's how it goes. So usually it depends what... Um, it's more of what comes to my attention than anything else. Uh, if it comes to my attention, I'm going to be playing it. Um, if I think it's good. That's usually how I, how I rumble. Right. Right, right, right. We need energy. Right now. And we got it. Good stuff. But I want the rainbow. Because if I get the rainbow energy and the hustle belt, oh, we got the hustle. Yes, I know I didn't pick up the pokey gear there, but I'm, I'm banking that we get the rainbow. Ah, we don't. We've got, we've got another Shedinja, so that's fine. That's fine. We got a Shedinja. And we got the energy. We're good. Let's do that again. There we go. Sweet. So again, they're not actually getting a prize off this KO, which is nice. Um... Now we can Lusamine here for probably a power plant and a Elm's Lecture. Because I want to get Brock's Grit next turn, I would say. Let's Anguish Cry here. There we go. We only need two prize cards, so once this thing is down, it's it's game. It's game. Um, alrighty. No, I was just about to say he shut it off. <laughs> yep, see, there we go. Um, <laughs> Dag Dag's the leader of the Guild of Anti-Spirit Tombs. <laughs> Don't hate the tombs, Brett. Um, I was the one who commented on your rap as the Wicked Gamer. Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Uh, say Toxapex from Lost Fun Love was bad when it came out, and that actually gets me wins. Toxapex from Lost Thunder. Is that the one that does 50 damage for each for poison for each damage counter am i i said that so wrong but i think you know what i mean uh i'm a rebel not a leader <laughs> ah, all rebellions have to be started by leading a figure oh damn the, those comebacks bro uh right 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 ninkada let's do that and reset stamp no because they only have one card in hand there we go we are not taking a KO on you, because I know what you're going to do. You're going to KO my Pidgey. No, I'm not having that, man. I'm not having that, Chief. That ain't happening, Chief. Not today, fam. Nah. I want that shrine to sit there and just bubble as it builds. Um, let's go for that grit. Recover some Spiritombs. Shedinjas. That's the play. There we go. All right. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So next time we got another Shedinja to come out and some Spiritombs. Oh, this is good. We're getting a, we're getting a good loop here. Uh, I, I really don't want to knock out this uh, Malamar. Although I think we are with this damn... No, we're not hitting 70. Um, because they could just come out and KO the Pidgeotto, which is a problem. Uh, they take a prize from that. They can knock out the Ninkada, which they probably would do. And they can't really retreat. So I'm just going gonna, gonna to poke it. Just give it a little, little dab, a little poke. A little poke. There we are. They are struggling. And if we could pull that reset stab ourselves, we can we can force them to struggle a little bit more. Just a little bit more. All right, let's let's do this. Shedinja. I think we've got them in a in a bit of a lock. They're struggling. They're struggling. Oh, we've got game. There it is. This deck is doing its thing. It's a long deck. I know. Why did I do that? But we are we're winning. We've won. Thanks to the old uh, custom catcher. You can't lock me out. That reset stamp just doesn't do it, Chief. There it is. It's a bit of a big brain neck. It's a bit of a big brain. There we are. See, we done it. We won. We won. Ah. And we're probably going to go into a game soon. Wow, this person's still playing. Jesus. Oh my god. They must be playing a big brain deck as well. But, um... You could bench the move. You could have won this turn with side power. Maybe, but I've, I've won already. It's done. It's done. We did it, done it, man. We did it. I love this deck. It's so fun. Like, it's anti-meta. It's not a GX deck. It's consistent. It's everything I love. Everything I love. It's like the one, one little shimmering light in this format. <laughs> That's how I would describe this deck. It's awesome. It's awesome. Um, well, GG, indeed. Indeed. Hey, hey, Zach, man. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. 
Um, right, we've got to let these people finish their game. I have no idea what they're doing because <laughs> they got to be doing something good, huh? Let's take a look at some cards um, and find out if there's anything else I can kind of spot. Or anything else you guys can spot when it comes to deck building. I know someone wants to see Hitmons. Let's filter it into the standard format. Why am I doing Cosmic Eclipse? Like it's out. There we are. There we are. So that's the standard format. No, I guess I could have just done standard. <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh my god. I'll just do standard. <laughs> oh, sometimes I just think, what is the point? <laughs> no, newest to oldest. Let's do that. Um, how is it anti meta or should I say anti GX? I mean, I want to say Spiritomb is that meta. I mean, there was a Spiritomb Gengar deck that came in the top 32, if I'm correct. But I don't think it's really classified as a tier one deck or a tier one card. Um, that's what I would say. So when I classify something as meta, I classify it as tier one. Um, but I think Spirit Tomb is more of a tier two card, to be honest with you. Um, am I going to take out Lysander Labs? I don't know yet. Maybe. But the reason why I'm thinking about keeping it in is specifically for the Tina Tags matchup to shut off the the uh, spell tag because that is such a big problem. And I'd rather not use the uh, Shedinja in that scenario and just go for the big trades. Um, how much Pokemon in a while? Well, it's good to see you back, man. It's good to see you back. Um... Another power plant and shop it for another shrine. See, the thing is, though, this is why I need to kind of... You're right. I do need to choose one and kind of stick to it. But the power plant just really helps in the Mew Mew matchup. Really does. Really, really does. Uh, but, yeah, I think you might be right because the shrine will do the same thing anyway. And it does the same job. So, you're right. Um, I'm keeping the Mew in there because the Mew is mainly there for, again, the Mew 3 matchup. Because they can do a lot of sniping, which is a problem. No Turtonator after the haze. <laughs> no problem. Um, I don't know about I don't know about Turtonator yet. Um, Labs is sick for this deck because tags wreck it. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, each their own. Yeah, that's fine. It might be a case where when you play it out, I might do it anyway and see what's going on. Um, I could Absol maybe. Uh, there's always Pidgeotto Control if you don't want to play GXs. That's technically what I'm playing now, right? Pidgeotto Control. But it's not a mill deck or something. It's more just damage. Uh, Lads wouldn't be good if you're shutting off your own tool cards. Play Hooper and Lysander. Hmm. I have a sponsor now. I do indeed. I do indeed, Zach. Yeah. <laughs> um, Koga's Trap is an underrated card. Hmm. I'm not sure. I mean, you could play it in the deck that I'm playing, right? You could play it, but... If there's a supporter card and it doesn't draw, you've got to have a good reason to play it, mainly. Uh, it's got to be something really valuable, like Guzma is a gusting effect. Gusting is really critical. Um, so that's why you play a Guzma. But it has to have a really good effect for it to be worthy of playing if it doesn't have a draw. Because if your turn one supporter is a Lusamine, which we've had a couple of times, you can see the problems it can cause. Um... Lab shuts off your own tools, but the only matchup you need it is for Tina Tags, and the Hustle Bell isn't necessarily against that deck because Giratina is weak to dark. So yeah, you see that. That's that's exactly why I kind of want to keep the labs in. Maybe drop the power plant and go for the shrine. Yeah, we could do that. But I can't save it right now because I'm... I could save. I don't know. I don't know. I've never actually tried to edit a deck whilst I'm keeping it in an, a, an event. I don't know. I've never done that before. Um... Turbo Turtonator will be so good. I can't wait. So is this the is this the Turbinator you run about that's already out? The one from Dragon Thingy? Yeah, Spirit Tomb's dope. Ciao from Italy. Hello, Matteo. Hello. Um, when is this round starting? It says zero here. I'm waiting. You run Jinx. Hmm. I guess because you can move the damage counters off. I guess so. I'll give it a shot and I'll see. I'm always open to ideas anyway. That's the, well, that's what this channel is about, really, being open to these concepts. So I'll give it a shout, and if it works, it works. Maybe I'll get someone to play with that can 
kind of do the matchup and we can test it. But I think if any deck recently that I've made, the one that's got the most potential is the one I'm playing now. I think this one's got really good potential um, to, to cover a lot of grounds when it comes to uh, these matchups. And, 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 well, let's say the meta. Dealing with meta cards. Because this can take out Picaron quite easily. It can take out Mew3 quite easily. Restaurant is a bit of a challenge. But, yeah, it can definitely deal. Because, again, a lot of these big decks are trying to get big KOs and, you know, take the game nice and quickly. But this one wants it to last longer. Which is why Pidgeotto Control um, does so well as well. So, I think this one has a lot of potential. <clears throat> <laughs> get it right from the first time <laughs> yeah that's fine everyone 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 has those moments don't they jinx actually control uh where they put the damage of spell tags uh jinx actually control does it does it really do you mean as in when they place the spell tags, no, because I swear Jinx only you, only you can you can only move one damage counter during your turn. I don't think it actually controls where they put it, no, unless I'm getting that wrong. All right, let's build Spike here. Uh, we'll throw a Rainbow down. I doubt they're gonna go for the turn one KO here. This is a Malamar deck. Uh, it might be the Tina tag, so let's prep for a Tina tag matchup here. Uh, yeah. Also, someone did mention Hooper. I'm sorry if I don't remember. Um, I did have Hooper in here, but it really didn't seem to be that good in this deck. The damage output was quite low for what it was. Um, it is possible to beat Tina Tags without it, but it's a lot more difficult, at least for me. And I come up against Tina Tags so much. I always come up against Tina Tags. <laughs> um... Jinx is for controlling spike damage. Yeah, that's yeah, that's what I know. Because Jinx is once during your turn, you can move damage, one damage counter from one to another. But I don't think... Do you mean control was in like, you can move damage counters around on your side to prevent them from getting those spell tag knockouts? Is that what you're talking about? That's what I, that's what I assume you mean. Yeah, with Turbo Jet and End Resolve, it discarded the top six cards, and then a basic energy discarded can be attached to a Dragon Pokemon. So with four Jirachi, Turtonator, and the Wanted Energy X with all Pokemon needed. Ah, okay, I see what you're saying. You just go crazy with the End Resolve, right? Problem with Hooper is the two Retreater, and its, uh, and its reward is not the same as Weavile was. Exactly. That's it. You move counters around in a way that controls where they put the counters, because if they want to get knockouts with it, they are um, at the will of where your counters are. Oh, so you kind of pick where they get the knockouts. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's kind of like you move the damage in a direction that wants to attract them to knock out that Pokemon. Is that what you're saying? I get what you're saying, if that's the case. All right, let's do that. And I think in this case, I might actually... <laughs> See, here we go. <laughs> here we go, there it is. <laughs> That's the tags. This is the debate, right? This is the debate. Um, yikes. Let's see. Let's see if we can we can be sneaky. Try and like get the labs. It might be good to work for a stadium nav in here. Do we even have labs? We do. Um, okay. Here we are. They've obviously got a knockout on the spirit tomb, uh, regardless. Uh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Right. Do we take the trade here? Do we go for the trade? I don't know. Mm, they could have a KO next turn anyway. I think we go for the for the KO here. Now, if I throw that onto here, they're not they can get a KO on that, but that means they can't get a KO on this. So I think I can build spite here confidently. Um and just throw an energy. I'm going to hold two damage counters on this because that's all we need. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, they're going to get the spell tag play, unfortunately, but at least they're only taking out one. Um, especially if you're running Shijinja, they don't get knockout anyway. That's true. What did I just hear there? That's very true. 
Because the Shedinja wouldn't let them take the prize in the first place. That's a very good point. Yeah, do you know what? This whole deck is a little forward thinking. I'm telling you, this deck is quite big brain. <laughs> I didn't expect it to be, but it is. Um, Mr. Rama Dangerous Drill in a deck with Dark Types. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh, we could play it here. We could play Dangerous Drill, actually. That did not come to my mind. Not at all. That's a pretty cool idea. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, we're going to do some damage to you. Um, so I have to worry so much about these tags here, which is good. All right. Let's go for... Oh, we could count a catch. Oh, we could count... Oh. See, I'm tempted to do that because they might just retreat. And if, if they get it, then we can bring it back up and KO it. I don't know. Let's, 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 let's be safe. Let's start building up. But Dangerous Drill, I like that a lot. I like that a lot. I do. Uh, also, Black Market could be something to throw in here as well. But that's just something to throw out there. Because we can utilize Black Market pretty well. Uh, let's building spite here. Let's accelerate this building spite. How on earth did they get to two cards in their hand? Jesus. Um, no KO, but that's fine. And uh, two Brock's great plus Pidgeot chose constant draw. You won't suffer discarding Spirit Tombs every so often. Yeah, yeah. See, that's what I'm thinking. Glad to see you're doing well, man. I'm going to head out. Thank you, Zach, man. Thank you. Uh, make sure you smash the like button, boys. You know, you know that one. Listen to Zach. He's talking facts. Zach is talking facts. All right, let's... Uh, but yeah, do, do take care. Do take care, man. Um... Pidgeotto, sweet. Sweet, 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 sweet. And Labs, there it is. There's the Labs. This is the debated card right now. <laughs> this is the one. See you later. In you go. Now we get a KO without worrying about the tags for now. Um, Poke Gear. All right, let's get a Cynthia. Sure, why not? Why not? All right, good stuff. This is good. We can build Spite one more time. Cheeky. Obviously, this card is going to be a problem, but, you know, I am not building Spite on this because they can get double KO if I'm correct. So I'm not building Spite on the bench. Um, which I'm, assure, I'm sure some of you guys are probably screaming at me right now <laughs> saying don't do that. So I won't. Don't worry. I won't. I won't. I won't. I won't do it. Uh, let's get another Pidgeotto out. And, oh, maybe not. Okay. Well, we'll just go for an Encarta. Um... Start getting those Shedinja's go. Uh, no. Let's go for another Spirit Tomb for now. Let's do that. All right. Then we'll throw an energy on you and build Spike. We can do that. We can't do it here. They will get They will get a one hit KO. Maybe I shouldn't have gone for the uh, building Spike there. Maybe not. But you know what? That's just where we're at. Oh, another Pidgeot. Sweet. And yeah, they get rid of the labs. We've got the Lusamine here ready to bring it back. Stop the spell tags from happening. Which is nice. Uh, Black Market is nice, but you're already denying these prizes with Shedinja. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So maybe we don't have to be so reliant on Shedinja if that's the case. That's what I was thinking at least. But you are right. It doesn't, mean, doesn't make that much of a difference, let's say. But you've tried Drill. The problem with Drill is you only play four Dark, po dark Pokemon. And changing the deck too much is not worth it. True. Um, but. But. As a one of. In the tag. In the, in the Tina tag matchup. That's really. It's really something that's like. Catching my fancy. If you catch my drift. Um, oh he's dead drawing. He's dead drawing big time. Alright well now we can go for the old. Uh, Ninkada soon. Let's get the labs back. And the... We'll get the lecture. We'll get the lecture. See, in what world are you going to choose lecture over? <laughs> Cynthia. This one. Oh, we got it anyway. It's fine. It's fine. We're not struggling. We're not in a struggling world right now. We got the Cynthia anyway. <laughs> oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, keep going. Keep going. We might be playing too much Cynthia. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um... Right, let's go for the building spite. Is that okay? I think so. And do we labs now? No, we don't labs now. We don't need to. Right. My theory of Spirit Tomb is that you're aiming to hit matchups that favor your price trade. Yep. While utilizing tool cards like Belt and Shedinja. Yep. Um, 
if you're taking cards that shut down your favorable matchups, you're hurting yourself. If you're hitting a ton of Mali and you expect it to be a metacool IRL, there are easy ways to counter it, like Guardian, for example. True. Very true. Jewels in for Judge Whistle is easy enough of a trade. That's true. Hmm. Very true. Well, hmm. Right. Well, I think we still have to tech to deal with the Tina Tags regardless. Because that's the one deck that really does shut us down. We have to do that, right? We have to find a way to deal with Tina Tags. Although, yeah, it means playing a bloody Guardian. <laughs> Although, we are in a matchup now and it's working out pretty decent. Um, it's a tough one. It's a really tough one. Having these options because, yeah, the, the Lysander Labs tech shuts down our own Shedinjas, which is what we're relying on. But. Maybe tech out the Labs for the Dangerous Drill. Because the Dangerous Drill obviously get, gets rid of tags, right? But that's a, that's a. It's not as good as Lysander Labs, but then Lysander Labs shuts us down. But then as you can see here, we don't need Shedinja so much because there's going to be some turns where they are not going to have a spell tag in play. Um, and we can then play a bit more confidently with Shedinja, right? Right. Let's not Blues Tactics. Maybe I, should, maybe I shouldn't play Blues Tactics in this deck. We draw big hands. That's not really a utilized card. Oh, yes. Good stuff. We can start. We can actually... Uh, well, we get a hustle bell, we can get games. So that's some serious stuff here. Shrine of Punishment doesn't put us in range, but uh, oh, they already have a shrine. Why have they got? Oh my god, they got their own shrine out. You are a nut job. Okay, <laughs> you're playing that for shrine. Ooh, it's risky, risky. Right, we're gonna play the blues tactics actually, because that's gonna pay off. Um, then we're gonna custom catcher here. Bring this bad boy into the active. And just smack into that for 130. And we're coming towards the end of the game. Guardian is an amazing deck. It takes a lot of skill to play. But it's nearly tier 1 in my eyes. Guardian is a great deck. But using it as a tech. Ooh. Um, this deck also shuts down to Weezing's. Weezing spread. Yeah, Weezing's almost an insta-loss, man. It really is. Yeah. Weezing is almost an insta-loss. Good thing it's not that crazy. Um, or that popular. Do you play IRL? No, unfortunately. I actually don't have anyone to play with. That sounds sad, but it's, it's not something that really bothers me. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, I kind of prefer PTCGO. Uh, less expensive. Um, yeah, if you're playing Spiritomb specifically to counter Mali, then you're not playing Spiritomb for its intended purpose in this current standard meta, is what I'm saying. Uh, no, no. I don't think we're playing it specifically to counter Mali. I think the... The main goal of the deck, obviously, is to have these favorable trades, which is what you've said. I think that's the case, definitely. And I'm taking some cards that help in the Malamar matchup. It, I'm not taking cards that cater it to the Malamar matchup, right? So that's why I'm not playing like a ton of labs or a ton of drills or anything like that. Um, that's what I'm saying, at least. All right, well played. But I think if you're playing a good deck, can deal... Have, I can have cards teched in that help it deal with its bad matchups, right? Like how um, Zorak had Mew EX to deal with the Buzzwell matchup, right? The Buzzwell Icon Rock. Um, that's a techable card that you throw into a deck to deal with a bad matchup or to help you in a bad matchup. That wasn't the final? You're joking. Um, if a player knows how to run it, a guardian is sick. That's true. Uh, it is sad that I'm making decks out of paper. <laughs> oh, oh, the old proxies, eh? The old proxies. Unless you have my luck, which is <laughs> constant Tina tags every match. Oh, don't. Tina tags everywhere, man. Tina tags everywhere. Absolutely everywhere. It's because it's cheap. It's easy. Everyone's got Malamar. Um, especially IRL. Have Tina tags counter in it. <laughs> uh, I genuinely come up against that that often. That's crazy. 
Uh, just got back into Pokemon. Haven't played since 2012. What's the best decks, sets, and products to buy for someone getting back into? Ooh, okay. Right. In this meta, it's kind of tough. I would say... If you're just getting back into the game, it's been since 2012, so that's that's quite a while. Uh, bear with me here. Let me make this, this play quickly. I want to make sure I get things right. Um, what are we playing against? Ooh, okay. Let's get a Pidgey out. Um, right. Let me make this play, uh, Marek, and then I will I will get to you. I will get to you, indeed. Let's see what we get off this Poke Gear. I was hoping to get an Elms Lecture. There we go. Um... That's exactly what I was going to say, Shane. Thank you. You said it for me. Ultra Necrozma Malamar. Not Ultra Necrozma. Yeah, the Ultra Necrozma Malamar starter deck is really good to, to buy up. Um, gives you a lot of staples and stuff. And it also helps you build a very cheap deck, which is also the Necrozma Malamar deck. Quite a cheap one. But yeah, Ultra Necrozma Malamar. There we are. Everyone knows. Everyone knows. All right, let's get these two out and probably an Encarda. There we go. Sweet stuff. Go on here. Build up that Spiderino. And pass up there. Okay. Two Jirachis, Malamar and Giratina. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say that Ultra Necrozma 1 is, is a pretty cool, pretty cool stuff. Gives you so much good stuff. But yeah, um, Dangerous 2 are a better tech option. Yeah, but it, it's the issue with Dangerous Drills is it's usually a one-turn thing, whereas Lysander shuts them off completely until they counter it. Um, so Lysander last has more longevity. That's what I'm saying. If you prize Spirit Tombs, then you're discarding your only attackers. That's the problem with it. So it is it is a problem. But, I mean, you've seen I was, I was able to deal with that, but then that may be to other factors, though. So I'm not going to sit there and say that we can deal with it now, but... I don't know. It's it's a really tough one. Um, I don't know, man. And the thing is, yeah, it's it's tough. It's really tough. Uh, and you also have to consider deck space. That's a problem. Um, right. Let's. Oh, can we attach the rainbow energy for turn? I think we can. Because if we do, we've got a game, right? Yeah, we've got game. <laughs> Sweet. Okay. It's game. Done and dusted. There we are. Hustle belt. Sorting you out. In we go. Done. We won a tournament. Easy. I say easy. That was super tough. Super tough. But we managed to deal with the, the Malamar Tina Tags matchup. We managed to do that. So it's a, it's, it's a tough debate though. That is a really tough debate for the deck. I'll be honest with you. That's a really tough debate. Um... Again, I mean, yeah, it's tough. It's a super tough debate. Um, I don't know. But I mean, in this deck though, Ryan, it is quite consistent when it comes to finding the Pokemon. Uh, and we have Brock's Grit to recover stuff. Yes, the prize is, is, is definitely a, an issue that could come with a dangerous drill. Um, but playing the Jinx also causes bench problems as well. Um... There's, 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 there's downsides to each one. I think I'm going to... What I might do is, in my spare time, I might try out each suggestion that's come up and see... And see if I can find someone that can play with me in that matchup and see if how it works. And find out the best one like that. That's probably the best way to go. If you have the time yourself to try it out, go for it as well. And let me know what your results are as well. Uh, I think it'd be a really good way to see what works in the deck. Because it's great theory crafting, but obviously things on paper are always different. When it comes to that. Um, you played Jirachi Engine with Ultra Beast. Ooh, cool. Um, the deck you're using isn't that exp expensive. What, the one I'm using? or I don't think it is. I think the deck I'm using is quite cheap, technically speaking, actually. And it's a bloody good deck as well. <laughs> yeah. Although, I don't know how these cards are priced right now. Because they're kind of hyped up. Um... But yeah, you play Jirachi Engine. Okay, that makes sense. But in this particular deck, no, I'm not so sure. Um, it's all down to peripheral preference, like you said. You're good at playing with the Mali um, player's head and forcing them, forcing the wrong KOs. 
So that works best for you. <laughs> you don't really know. Yeah, I guess it is a, a case of preference. I think I could play like that. Don't get me wrong. I think it's because what you have to do is you just have to attract KOs. Um, move damage counters primarily to the spirit tombs, the ones with the Shedinjas on them. So when they take them out, they're not taking their prizes. I get the I get the mindset behind it, which is true. Um, so I do see that, but it's it is it is quite a, quite a quite an interesting debate actually. That a small little debate coming from uh, the spirit tomb matchup. Uh, Toxpex is not for winning a lot, just good for fun time. What Toxpex are you talking about, Dag Dag? Are you talking about the GX or no? That's rotated, right? Um, Pidgeot is common. Yes, you are right. Yes, that's very true. That's very true. So, yeah, this deck I'd say try out as well if you're starting up. It's quite cheap and good. Uh, I'm very, very happy with how that deck has turned out, I'll be honest with you. How long have I been streaming for? Jesus Christ, hour and a half. Bloody hell. That's all right. It's longer than my usual stuff, isn't it? Um, right. I don't think I could do another tournament now. That would take forever. Um, but... I want to see if I can mess around with something here. I have been testing Glaceon, but it just doesn't hit hard enough, unfortunately. I want to do this Kangaskhan with... Uh, uh, Reshirad. Or Reshizard. I'm not leaving. I'm not leaving. Don't worry. I'm not leaving yet. I'm not leaving. Um, Lost Thunder Tox effects. The water one? This one, right? Yeah. I mean, I've looked at that. I've been attracted to it a little bit. But triggering poison is not that easy. Unless you're playing. Oh, okay. Let's mess around. Let's mess around. Let's, let's do something stupid. We're going to do something stupid. It might not work. It might be a flop. But unless you don't take a step outside the box... You're not going to discover anything, are you? So, let's do it. Let's just see. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go for the Pidgeotto engine because it's consistent. It works. It's good. Right? And then we go like that. Um, and then we get Volcanion. Yeah. I want to Quagnag it, but I'm not. Not right now. We'll see how it goes with the slow manual attachment turns, I guess. Um... Oh, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. It might be a complete flop, and it it may be. This is quite easy to knock out. It's tough. It's tough. It's tough. Uh, we're going to go for the Elms, obviously. Elms all day. We're only going to do three this time. Uh, we're going to go to Mysterious Treasure. Two of them. Uh, we're going to go for Pokemon Communication. Works with the Elms. There we are. We're going to do that. And then we get the Kogas. Kogas Trap. We're going to get three of those. We're going to Power Pad. There we are. We're gonna pokey, not pokey gear. We're gonna, yes, we're gonna pokey gear. Absol. Okay, I will do that. Absol. Just the one. All uh, right. This isn't healthy deck making. It's too fast to make a deck like this. You need to chill. This is how I do it, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, and then I kind of go to it, but. What I do when I deck build is I add a ton of stuff and then I cut. That's usually how I do it in my thought process, at least. Cynthia, let's say. Um, I'm not holding my breath from this one working. Definitely. Definitely. Lance and Unify Mind Dragonite, I guess. But I don't think we need that. Parasite with Earring and Bell. I don't think that's the way to go. Ah, oh, you're right. But, because obviously the Kogus Trap will trigger the Parasex. But I think that's too much going on. I think having two like this already is a pr is already quite enough to deal with, to be honest with you. Rock's Grit, obviously. Um, too much space, what do you mean? Uh, okay, okay. Now I've got to think. So we've got the setup. I'm going to throw some choice helmets. Is that relevant? We could acro bike. I guess some... I don't think Lily's that good because of the Pidgeotto matchup, to be honest with you. No, it's Pidgeot playing Pidgeotto's. Let's shrine. One, two, three. 
And I'll do two, and then we'll get some labs in there as well. To deal with the tag. I get two labs. Um, tag's a big problem. You could use Marik to put them to sleep, but I think Koga does confusion and poison, right? So if you Koga, then you're going to deactivate the sleep and put them into confusion instead. Because you can't be sleeping and confused at the same time, unfortunately. Um... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think Shane's got a point. Like, I, but I think you do as well, Dag. It's all fun and games at the end of the day, but don't expect a glorious deck right now. This is just winging it. Absolutely winging it. Um, they would be poisoned and asleep after using Koga. Oh, do you mean Ko do you mean Marie Koga then Mareep? Is that what you're talking about? So you Koga first and then Mareep. I see it. I see what you're saying. Let's let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Let's roll with it. Let's get three of them. That's a lot of Pokemon, but we have Pokecom, so I see what you're saying. Um, in which case we need U-turn board. Oh, it's spelt this way, isn't it? Like that. Maybe we get rid of the shrine because this is supposed to take big knockouts, right? 50 damage for each damage counter on a poison Pokemon. That's some good stuff. Uh, and if we let that build, get the slumber in. Let's do that instead. Um... In which case, Switch would be quite a good card to throw in here. We'll throw a couple of them bad boys. Um, has your Galgi rotated? I don't know. Hello, Chill Perlo. How you doing? Um, the Moving Damage Trainer? Uh, is that the one? That's a cool idea. Isn't that Grimsley or something? Move it to three damage counts from one of your opponent's po uh, Pokemon to another. That's a cool little fun thing to throw in there, right? Um... Just thinking to myself right now. I think we're just going to do that and throw nine water energy. Should we just try it out? It's going to be a slow deck. Don't get me wrong, because we're going to have to manually attach. But with the Slumbering Forest, I think that gives us the opportunity. Um, you would cut labs if you're on Marit Borb. Yes, 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 you're right. Uh, you're very much right. In which case, probably three Slumbering Forests. Um... Trying to think to myself quickly. Hmm. We got the Pidgeotto, so that's fine. Okay. Maybe not the Volcanium. We don't have any energy acceleration to really comfortably use. But then the Volcanium is really good for the Switch plays. So, no, we're keeping the Volcanium. Hmm. I think we throw a third switch. I think I think we're good. One shrine, but I think we're going to really rely on the slumbering forest though. Switch raft is cool, but I think the switch that only does it with portal Pokemon, right? But the switch is mainly for the Marie plays. Um, if we don't have the U-turn board, native intellect isn't that you, Ryan? Yes, it is. Um, we're going to roll with this. We're going to roll with this. Toxapex. There we go. There we go. I'll get to your messages in a second, guys. I just want to save this up. I want to save this one up. Uh, let's do that. I don't know. I don't even know what I did there when it came to the, the stuff. I gave it a dark type box for some reason. Check your trades. I will write. What have you done? What have you done, buddy? What are you doing? Oh, oh, oh yes. <laughs> oh, I love you, man. I love you. Yeah, let's throw that in there. Let's throw that in there. I appreciate that, bro. We're going to throw that straight in the deck, man. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, seriously. Let's get that little Grimsley in there. Do you know what's funny? I think I actually kind of predicted a Grimsley supporter card. If you check an old video of mine, right? I'm going to try and find it now just quickly because... I don't know. I just want to find it. Um, I think it was like... Something to do with potential Pokemon cards or something like that, right? A long time ago, and I predicted a Grimsley. I don't. I didn't predict that it would do this, 
but I predicted that a Grimsley would be a support a supporter card, an up and coming supporter card, at least. I'm gonna I, I can't be asked to find it, but <laughs> but I did. Am I getting there? Am I finding it? Oh, I want to find it. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Look here, right? The card is completely wrong. Obviously, don't pay attention to that. But I did find. Sorry, I did say there would be a Grimsley card. Just saying. Just saying. Let me find it quickly. And I. But what, what, what picture did I use for it? Is this it? Oh, I said it was going to be a Grimsley Prism Star. Man, why was I wrong? Look, I'll show you. I'll show you because I'm sitting here looking at it by myself. You guys have no idea what's going on. But there. In my old video, 5th of April 2015, I said there would be a Grimsley supporter. L ignore the fact that I said Prism Star. What did I say? You can only play this card if your active Pokemon is Dark type. Your opponent cannot play any cards from their hand during the next turn. So that would have been a decent card. Anyway. Anyway, let's get back to the game. Let's get back to the game. I'm just talking about Grimsley a lot. Um, right, throw that in there. Oh, I already have. <laughs> oh, that's such a beautiful card. Thank you, man. Thank you. All right. Um, while I'm queuing, I'm going to check the messages. Bear with me. Psychic Sean. <laughs> That's the only thing I've predicted in my lifetime, so I don't know about that one. Uh, what did I call the deck? Did I even name it? I did name it, didn't I? What did I call it? I called it Toxpex, didn't I? Man, I'm really slow today, aren't I? Jesus Christ. Lord of mercy. Where is it? What? An, an MP Curious T. There we go. Found it! There we go. Um, what was he saying? I really, really love your channel. So this is Mateo. I really, really love your channel. Unfortunately, I won't be able. Unfortunately, I won't be able to watch the stream entirely because this is one a.m. Ah, I appreciate that. That's perfectly fine. Hope to catch other streams in the future. One and not. Am I pronouncing it right? Good night. Well, good night, Mateo. Thank you very much for coming along. I appreciate it. I really do appreciate it and your support as well. It really does mean a lot. Um, can I send you a pastebin about my list? Yeah, sure, by, by all means. Yeah, send send a pastebin link. That's cool. That's cool. Why? Thank you. Am I, am I playing someone? Is someone? Am I playing someone that knows that's watching the stream? I don't know. Let me say you have a good deck at the start. <laughs> Haven't seen a deck yet. Um, let's let's roll with it though. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. I'm excited. Ryan, I like the idea for the um, the Mareep one. Because that actually gives us a lot of time to really attach stuff. Ooh, juicy card, buddy boy. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. I wonder what deck this is then, huh? Ah, uh, rip. Rip, rip. All right. Elm's time. Here we go. When it goes, da donk donk da donk donk There we go. Only problem is we haven't got a Toxapex to work with right now, but that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Here we go. Oh, I should have put a Ditto in here. I could have got Ditto. Got... Yeah. Was that slacking? Slacking? What? What am I playing against? I have no idea, but it's a Reshiram, obviously. A Reshiram, sorry. What if it's Reshiram? Did I do a video on Reshiram and... Ah, Parasect. There it is. No, okay. It's just a Mimi deck. Why would you play Rush around? Maybe for its GX attack. If I could pronounce GX right, that would be cool though, wouldn't it? All right. Mysterious Treasure. That's what I needed. Let's get one of these. Mayne? Mayne? Okay. Goes to show how far my knowledge is. See, the problem with playing Summer and Forest is you're not playing Shrine. So getting damage counters on the board is not so easy. So you're not going to have full utility here. But, you know. We have the Koga, which is cool. And we have a Toxapex. We have a pretty good... <laughs> a pretty good hand here, actually. So we Kogas. Then we Fluffy Pillow. Is that correct? So that leaves them asleep and poisoned. Like that. Man, this would be great if you just had... Um, Oh, that's saved a double heads there. This would be great if you had a um, what's that card? 
Hypnotosic Laser, which isn't expanded. So maybe this could be an expanded deck, which seems cool. Especially with like uh, Evo Soda and stuff. This could be a pretty good... There's Evo Soda, Aqua Patch, and um, Hypnotoxic Laser. This could be a really cool deck in expanded. A little fun one, you know, right? Um, but at least have your chances of keeping them poisoned. It's very true. That's very true. And that's going to build damage counters anyway. So... Right. Let's do... Cynthia, sweet, sweet. This is looking pretty fun already. We're doing something. We're doing something. I'm excited. Uh, we do actually hit it for weakness. Oh, whoa. I was about to take the Morania instead of the water energy. That would have been bad. So I think we got the one hit KO on this simply because it has two damage counters. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Ah, but alas, we do not have a follow up. We don't even have a retreat. I should have played the switch. Did I have a switch in my hand? Did I just. Did I. Did I. Did I, did I just do that? Did I just not play the switch? Please tell me I didn't have a switch in my hand before I Cynthia'd. Please. If I did, I just screwed myself. Do you know what? I have an excuse, right? It's 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> okay. <laughs> muck and Muck was super with Verbank City Gym and Survivor. It's nasty. Yes, 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 yes. But that's expanded, right? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I've definitely heard of that bad boy. Yeah, throw it in the Discord, man. Throw it in the Discord. It's a dirty boy. Ah, oh, they woke up as well, man. All because I didn't play the Switch. Ah, oh, please, man. I hate myself so much right now. <laughs> Lord, what is this? Juggernaut. Okay. Why? At least we get the return KO. But why? Why? <laughs> Why you do this? Oh, my phone just died. I'm getting a call. Who's calling me? What the hell is going on here? Oh, don't worry. Right, my thing just went off there because someone tried calling me. You can ignore it. Bear with me. There we are. All right, fixed, sorted. Now I can get the lighting back. How about that? Is that good? <laughs> All right, we get to respond at least. Thank God. So you can say, this, this is my lighting. It's my phone. I don't even have proper lighting, but I will get some soon, I think. Oh, bloody hell, don't break the whole thing. I just have it attached to a tripod. Um, anyway. Let's get some stuff going. Slumbering Forest, you have returned. Do we have a switch U-turn board coming? Do we have it? Maybe? No? Let's see. Let's see. Let's get this down. Let's get this down. Let's get this down. Let's play this. Ah! I didn't play the Slumbering Forest! Oh my god, I am slacking. Absolutely slacking. Oh lord. Alright, Venom Fever. In with a big boy KO. 400 damage. 400 damage. Hail the misplay king. There it is. Hail the misplay king. Um, you're talking about tank and expanded. You're not. But boy, do I have a deck for you. I'm sorry, had it had to its route. Sorry, bro. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm struggling here. I'm sorry, had to. It's. Oh, I'm sorry, had to. Okay. Violet eggs with A for paradise uh, conservation. Oh, that's a tanky boy. Oh, that's a big boy. Mm. Yes. Okay, I'll give you that. Violet eggs. Um, posted in the, in the deck suggestions. Cool. So that's in the Discord. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right. There they go. Uh, we're definitely going to Kogos Trap this turn. And we get to go for the, the uh, replay, which is sweet. But if only... Don't I have a switch in my hand? I can see that. I can see that. There we go. I see what you mean, Dag Dag. It's fun. It's fun. It's unique. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. And I think Nate's Ryan idea to throw in the Mareep was a pretty good shout. It gives us time to um, Koga's Trap first, then Mareep. Yes, that's the way to go. Uh, Koga's Trap. Then Mareep. There we go. And I think I'm just going to pass up here. Because we can't do any damage with these Toxapexes right now. 
So, you can do that. Pass. Morning. Hello, Ray. If it's morning for you, that's crazy. Well, technically, it is morning for me. It's 12.30 in the morning. So, technically, it is morning. So, yeah, I'll give you that. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope you're doing all right. But we can keep this Mew here. Which we might not. They might just retreat, which is a problem. That would still be good, though. No, they're just going to retreat. Okay, that's fair. That's committing a lot of resources to killing a Mareep, though. <laughs> but if we can get this one asleep as well, that would be cool. This is the problem. They're not really got... We've not really built enough damage counters around to utilize this properly. Um... Although we could force a switch if we get an energy. So let's 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 look for an energy. Let's look for an energy. We could force a switch play, which would be cool. Alright, we've got that. Not really Yeah, not really needed now. I was gonna say useful, but same word technically speaking. Absol. Yeah, see the Absol would have been good to stop that from go actually no, they would have retreated anyway. Um Man, we do need a water energy and we'll be good. Please give me a water. Yeah. Oh, there's the Grimsley. Um, so we could force the switch and at least hit them for 50 damage. Which, you know what? It's better than nothing. Take it or leave it, right? Let's do it. Wait, what? Oh, they're not poisoned. Ah. All right. Uh, that's why you need Absol. Yep. Definitely. Definitely, definitely. Oh man, there it is. Yep, not poisoned. I know. Your free old something is a good idea to still be awake. I remember those times, Shane. I remember them. My son is six now, but yeah, I remember them too well. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, they went for a different Jex. I thought they went to do a Miraculous Duo. Right. We need to fight a Koga. Let's get you out. Definitely. As if it makes a difference. <laughs> See you later, Battle Ripper. Thanks for coming along. Uh, we need a Koga. ASAP. Big boy. We do need one of them. We need a big boy Koga. I should have poisoned Sting last turn. I guess that's just a lack of knowledge on the deck at the end of the day. Ah, we did get a Koga. Hmm. That's going to have to be a, a yikes from me, Jeff. All right. Let's Cynthia. Yeah, let's do that. I just have to poison sting. Where do I live? I live in London. Um, actually, I could do a little... Volcanian. No, let's not do that. <sighs> Poison sting, I guess. Yeah, I think I'm going to get rid of the Pidgeotto engine. The reason I did P Pidgeotto is so it allows us to play Koga's Trap more confidently without worrying about hitting draw supporters too much. But you could do Jirachi. Jirachi could do it. But then playing Jirachi and Mareep is a bit tough. Uh, Twitch. Huh? Just poison now. Yeah. So it's just too retreatable, unfortunately. It's too easy to avoid the... Uh, the condition that we need to achieve. Hmm. Tough one. Tough one. We can definitely go for Mareep now. Which I think is something we need to get. So let's just do that. Okay. Okay. We 
We need Koga still. Well, I think we only have one, right? Oh, this is tough. Mm. We still have a chance. No. Haha, <laughs> you see the Dragonite. <laughs> no, we with the Koga. Mm. What are the odds of that? Unless we prized it, which is a no no. That's a no no when a no go. Uh we could use Grimsley here. Doesn't seem that great. I think we're kind of stuck. We're in trouble, man. Dust Island and Parasite without the engine and without Marie. Dust Island? What does Dust Island do? This is a yikes right now. I think I'm going to go for the Mareep and just pass up. That seems like the play right now. I really don't want to lose this. Uh, Toxipex. So, let's do that. And I hope we get a... Hmm, this is tough. I want that to come out in the active, but they're obviously not going to do that. Hmm. Um. So what? What is Dust Island though? Is that so? Is that a? It sounds like a stadium. Zev Striker. Hmm. Yes, I see that. I see that. I see that maniac. That's a good shout. That's a good shout. If they retreat with a switch card or a Titan Lazar, for example, makes a new active. Oh, that one. Okay. Yep. Yep. I know. See, I'm terrible with names and stuff, but I can figure it out. <laughs> All right, there it is. All right, uh, switch play for next turn. That's pretty good. We just need to find that Koga or Pow Pad. I put Pow Pad in there for a reason. It's for this reason. Uh, once we use up our Koga, so that seems to be something we're going to be using a lot. But oh my god, how... Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But obviously we're not getting it this turn, which is a shame. So, you know, that'd be it. Uh, why don't I go for this for now? get these Kogas back into the deck. Uh, go for the, the fluffy pillow. Let's poison them. We could Grimsley now, to tell the truth. Uh, move it from the Mewtwo. They're never going to throw that out. So let's Grimsley. Let's move it from the Mewtwo to the Dragonite for now. Like that. Sweets, and then we go for the poison sting. Hopefully, they stay asleep with no retreat or switch play. Nice. There we go. It, it makes it so if the opponent's active status as they switch. Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, all status conditions will make Parasite ridiculously good. I think Parade uh, Parasite is so underrated. Um, right. We are hitting 200 damage on it. Plus the poison. That is a KO. Thank the Lord. <laughs> we have got a KO. Um, now we need to find a way to follow up. Let's box grit. Get some stuff back into deck here. There we go. And we don't need to do the Marie or anything down that line. Let's just let's just start getting some stuff out here. We're going to go for the Pokecom. And so next turn, once this Tox Specs is KO'd, which it will be. We're good to go. And we've got the Koga. Nice. This is why I put Pidgeotto. It's just super consistent. Um, but we'll keep rolling here. Sweet. And then we go for... They're already asleep. Venom Fever. In for the knockout. Tell you what, that's not such a hard condition to meet. Especially with the whole sleep thing. But I'll tell you what, if there was an ability that would just leave your active opponent's Pokemon poisoned by something, then that would be dope. I think there, there is a Pokemon, is it Ariados and Expanded that has that ability? 
I can just leave him poisoned? Oh, you're going to reset stat me? Come on, dude. Come on. What you doing, man? There's that sky judgment as we expected. That's fine. Although this elm's not doing us any favors. We can't get ourselves a Moraini down. Let's see what we can do. Let's not go... Let's not be hasty. Let's get a water energy. We can actually attack the Volcanian this turn. So there's that. That's something good. Um, and we can get a Moraini out. That's something good. All right. And we can also get a Koga out. That's also good. All right. Um, pretty good. Yeah. If they're retreating, they're retreating anyway with the amount of energy. So the Absol is kind of obsolete. Let's get the Moraini down. Let's get... I, I kind of want to Koga's trap it and sleep it right now. I don't really want to attack with the Volcanian. Although that would still leave it in one-shot territory, wouldn't it? Two-shot territory? No, it wouldn't. Not with the Koga's trap. No, we have to one shot. It's, it's three shot with the Volcanian and the Koga's trap. So I'm not going to attack with the Volcanian. I'm going to Fluffy Pillow. No, I did it wrong. Ah, fine. Have it your way. God damn it. Why did I do it wrong? See, this is the, this is the, this is the learning curve. All right. This is the learning curve. Poison Barb, Aridos, Hypnotosic Laser, Verbank. This deck would be probably super good and expanded. There we go. Plus Aqua Patch. You see what I'm saying? The Evo Sodas to get them out quickly. That's it. Reprint Bicycle. Isn't Bicycle draw three cards? Draw two cards? Flip a coin, draw three cards? I don't know which one it is. I don't know. Right, the only issue is they can retreat. Right, they do get the KO, I'm afraid. But the poison's still there. So, you know. Not complaining, but we kind of have to do it this turn. Which the sleep will definitely help with. So we can uh, get ourselves a... That's good. We just need a Toxapex and a Water Energy. That's not so good. Maybe we should have Elmed first? I don't know. That's better. We just need the Energy. Oh, draw until you have four cards. Okay, that's cool. Um, what's the one that's slipper coin? Oh, that's roller skates, isn't it? Roller blades? Roller skate? I don't know. Um, okay. So we're, we're almost there. All right. Let me do the switch. See, I'm thinking. I'm using my brain a little bit. If we get a Cynthia or something off this, that would be pretty cool. We get the Koga again. Not good. Not good. We're going to Elms here just to get some stuff out to thin the deck. And then we're going to sleep them. So they can't retreat. Hopefully they don't wake up. Okay, they don't. So as long as they don't have a switch, we're good. Um, and then we got to find a water energy next turn. Oh, they have tag switch. This is quite intense. We're like super close. Ah, okay. We just need the water energy to win. That's all we need. And it's the top deck. There we go. Woo, okay. As mad as this deck is in theory, we managed to beat somewhat pretty good deck with it. So I'll take it. I would take it, man. I'll take it. Could definitely use some improvement, but that's the case as always when you build a deck. Straight from scratch. I want to see how this doesn't expand it as well. So I might do that in my spare time to see how that goes. But I am going to leave the stream there. Um, that was really fun. That was really, really cool. I, I really like that. That was really cool. Um, thank you everyone for coming along. Again, as always, I do appreciate it more than you can imagine. Um, but I will, as I said, leave you to it. I'm going to go get myself some sleep, man. It's 12.30. On a Saturday night, I need some sleep. <laughs> um, but yeah, hope you all have a good evening and enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, I will leave you to it. Again, thanks for coming along. Peace.